What's up guys, we got another one against Jake for round four of our uh, Uber Hack series, so now I'm going to put on some music. Alright, um, he leads with an Ambi Palm, and since I'm scarfed, I know I can live a, uh, a fake out and kill him off with Brick Break next turn, so I just stay in, take the fake out, and I just Brick Break him next turn. And yes, I know I'm an asshole, I have two Teppanyakis, one's banded and one's scarfed, so, yeah. Pretty badass, I guess. Um, anyway, what does he go out to? Oh yeah, he goes out to Scizor next, and um, this Scizor was a pain in the ass. I did not know what kind of Scizor it was. I thought it was Bandit at first, but seeing how much Bullet Punch did, and since I have no HP or defense EVs, I didn't know. And since I was a crit and it didn't kill me, it was just like, ugh, god damn it. Could have come in, I could have killed it with Air Slash, and everything would have been great. But I got up to pinch your nuts like I should have done in the first place. And, um... Uh, uh... Yeah, Crab Hammer. And he goes up to a vagina, which doesn't take the Crab Hammer too well, actually. But yeah, the song is, um... From the Tales of Symphonia original soundtrack, uh, Fatalized. So, uh... Anyway, he hidden power grass, I think. And, um... Yeah, I go out to high. Because high is, like, cute and stuff. So he goes into something that has... One of the funniest names I've ever seen in my life. And, uh, yeah, I was just lolling forever at that name. <laughs> so I go back to Pinch Your Nuts and dodge a Will-O-Wisp, which is amazingness. And he predicts my superpower and stays in, which was retarded. He just really outplays me this match, and, uh, yeah. I go back up to high to, uh, die, because I figured he was going to Stone Edge again. Or not Stone Edge again, just Stone Edge. And, uh, yeah. So now I go back out to pinch your nuts, because I wasn't going to over-predict this time, and he out-predicts me again, and he goes back to the vagina. He's just really outplaying at this point. And now I figure he's going to go for the ice move or something, but he just explodes, so whatever. The Mist Crab Hammer didn't matter. Anyway... What does he go to now? He goes... Oh, yeah, he goes to Soul Rock, and I go down to Shaman, because I figured he was going to go to Soul Rock. And... There I was playing with my stylus tad, um, because we were voice chatting and stuff, so I decided to go for a seed flare, and thank the lord it didn't miss, and I'm able to kill it off, which is very nice. He goes to the Umbreon, and here I needed seed flare to get a special defense drop, otherwise he was going to pass off a plus one curse to, uh, Scizor, which is amazing, because I do get the special defense drop, and I'm able to kill it off, which is just, phew, bullet dodged, okay. But anyway, that Scizor now proceeds to wreck my shit, as, um, there's nothing I can do about it now. It turns out it has Wing Attack, which is just funny as hell. I mean, like, I went to Teppanyaki predicting, like, an X Scizor or something, but he has Wing Attack, which is just, ah, oh, it's funny as hell. So I go to Havoc, because I figure Havoc might be able to take a Bullet Punch, but it doesn't. And this whole match, I was trying to guess what item Scizor had. I guessed... I, oh, I don't know what I guess. I guess leftovers. I guess lychee. I guess Salakberry, I guess choice band. But it turns out it's Aka Berry. So whatever. This this thing just fucks me over hardcore. And um, yeah, that was a good game, Jake. Um, stick around for round five. That one's not narrated.